Welcome. Today we're asking a provocative question. Is the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, poised to replace traditional APIs? We'll explore how this emerging pattern can reshape the way banking apps and many other systems talk to data. What is MCP? MCP is an open context-first standard that passes rich, structured information into large language models. Instead of shipping raw JSON to an endpoint, we ship business context, customer details, user intent, and conversation state. The model then chooses the right tools, calls them securely, and responds in plain language. Think of MCP as the glue between your data, your tools, and an intelligent assistant. Why did MCP emerge? Why now? Three forces collided. One, AI assistants and co-pilots exploded. They need memory and shared context. Two, REST and GraphQL were designed for precise, deterministic queries, not fuzzy natural language requests. Teams wanted to decouple UI logic from rigid endpoints. MCP fills that gap by letting developers model what the user means rather than which endpoint to hit hit. MCP versus traditional APIs. Here's the head-to-head -head comparison. Focus, MCP exchanges context, APIs exchange data. State, MCP maintains long-lived conversational state. APIs are usually stateless payloads. MCP passes semantic objects. APIs pass JSON fields. User experience, MCP answers like a human. APIs answer like a database. Security, credentials still exist, but they're abstracted behind tool wrappers. Architecture snapshot. At a high level, you'll see five pieces. A context broker that validates incoming context, a model adapter that turns that context into a model-ready prompt, a tool layer, secure wrappers around existing APIs, data stores, vector, SQL, NoSQL feeding the model, a memory store that preserves multi-turn conversations. Together, they let the model reason, fetch data, and answer, all without the front end knowing an endpoint. Designed to facilitate seamless integration between AI-powered clients, like chatbots, IDE plugins or applications, and various data sources. At the top, the MCP host client initiates communication using JSON RPC 2.0 over HTTP, State.io, or pipes. The connection begins with a handshake process where the client and server negotiate protocol versions and supported capabilities. The architecture follows a hub and spoke model where multiple MCP servers or adapters connect to the client. Each server acts as a translator, adapting requests to various backend systems, databases, APIs, file systems, cloud services, and specialized tools like CRMs or CLIs. When a request is made, the client uses JSON RPC 2.0, ensuring standardized communication. The MCP server translates and forwards the request to the appropriate data source, retrieves the response, and relays it back through the same channel. This approach supports real-time data flow, multiple concurrent connections, and maintains loose coupling between AI systems and diverse data sources, making it flexible and efficient. Real-world banking example. Let's test this in a payments dashboard. Traditional way, get payments dot min amount equal thousand and from date 2025 to 329, then format JSON. MCP way, the user simply says, show me all large payments from this week. The model infers large means over a thousand dollars, knows this week means seven days, calls the payments tool and replies, you made five payments over a thousand dollars, totaling $6,200. The largest was $2,300 to Stripe on Monday. No parameters, no hard coding, just conversation. Where does MCP get the data? The magic isn't magic at all. It's your existing stack. Vector databases like Pinecone or Azure AI Search for quick semantic lookups. Traditional SQL or NoSQL through secure agents. Live REST or GraphQL endpoints wrapped as tools. Conversation context stored as embeddings. MCP simply orchestrates them. Security and governance. Security remains first class. OAuth tokens, API keys, and secrets live in vaults, never in the prompt. Tool wrappers enforce scopes, rate limits, and audit logs. The model only knows, I need to fetch payments, not how the credentials work. Compliance teams still get their controls. Users just get a friendlier interface. Benefits and challenges. Benefits include faster iteration, conversational UX, fewer endpoints to maintain, and less vendor lock-in. Challenges. The standard is still maturing, tracing calls can be harder, and performance overhead is real. Culturally, teams must shift from endpoint design to context design. Implications for banks and developers. For banks, the next steps are clear. 
wrap critical APIs as secure tools, invest in context schema design and prompt governance, prototype chat-first dashboards that rely on MCP, prepare for a hybrid world where REST and MCP coexist for years. Key takeaways in closing. MCP isn't killing APIs, it's changing how we access them. It's tailor-made for AI-native workflows that require shared context and natural language. Security and compliance still rule the day, but early adopters in digital banking will gain a clear user experience edge. Thank you for joining this deep dive into the Model Context Protocol. Are we on the verge of APIs as a conversation? I'd love to hear how you're blending Gen AI and traditional APIs in your own projects.